Where to start with this beast? Yeah. We'll go front shoulder first. Yep. You caping him at all? Just gonna try to keep some hide. Uh, it's pretty. I'll take some hide. Dude, we're not that far from the boat. Keep whatever amount of the hide you want. Mm -hmm. Hundred pounds big compared to everything else we got on there. Big square of it. about 550 yards to the river from where we're standing yeah yep okay well we uh just got done breaking down the moose we ended up skinning it out um gonna tan that hide and then we've got a crud ton of game bags here we got a mess of stuff um now we're gonna get back to camp. It's almost 1.30 in the morning. So we got the hide laid out, moose head, and all these, uh, all these bags that we will be shuttling first thing in the morning to the river, which is 550 yards from here. So we're gonna bring this little sled drag thing that might help kind of get these quarters to the river where we can get our pack rafts and haul it down to camp. So that's the plan, but until then, we're gonna find our way back to camp and grab some food, because we're starving. <sighs> that was a grind. About five hours of butchering, throwing everything into game bags, hide set aside, head, gut piles over there, and hopefully nothing messes with it tonight, no grizzlies. And then we'll be back in the morning. All right, we made it back to the boat. And uh, we got a small leak in Ryan, so he's on a timeline. As soon as it's pumped up, he got to go. <laughs> oh, it's it's pitch black out there. This should be fun. These night floats are great. Thankfully, we got bright lights on. But I'm just going to hop in this thing, get out there, float out around the corner, our camp's. 400 yards from here so yeah it's not that deep people who are worried about us rafting in the dark it's about knee deep and in a couple spots maybe up to your waist but it's pretty shallow we were hitting bottom all day i kind of rode this like a skateboard <laughs> in the shallows one foot in one foot out trucking along yep it's gonna be it's always fun. This is our second night pack out with the rafts. Not 
sure whose will be done You can call me a sinner for a wondering why Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling Your palms are, look at this Look at this I know Valentine. Man He is super cop down there, the saddles <laughs> Imagine if they laid out flatter He's L-shaped too. I mean, those brows just—he drops down. Yeah. His beams. That is a good bull. Good bull. The brow ties yeah, make good, it. Right? Like this. Pretty look at uniform, the like, look at the character on this brow tie. This one drops. Five. Five and five. five. Brows. Rounded, you know, it's kind of squared off in the tops. Yeah, he's got some points up there. Not too bad. Not like the one I got last year. It's just flat. That's a good bull. No bear on it. No bear. Not yet. Thankfully. Nope, I just got lots of trips. 500 yards. Yeah. 540. 540, 540 yards over <laughs> the limit, but we'll let it slide this time. <laughs> Fronts are just so cool. Sunshine beating on the good times, moonlight raising from the grave. String band playing more that honky tonk's pretty young thing going dancing in the rain. I hear lady spitting at the Nicky Jacks, businessman with a needle and a spoon. Coyote chewing on a cigarette pack of young boys going howling at the moon. Head darling, sleeping on the black top. Head darling, running through the trees, honey. Head darling, leaving for the next town. Lesson my set sketches up with me. awkward heavy that little stone is about maxed out right there <laughs> she tipping a little bit yeah i'm maxed out for weight <laughs> oh. <laughs> For the next town, lesson my sense catches up with me. Lesson my sense catches up with me. We got the boat loaded with moose. Moose rack, all the meat, everything. So now we just got a little, what, 500 yards, 600 yards, float back to uh, camp. We'll get this meat out in the open, get it aired out, hopefully dried. Um, get some food, I think we're gonna make ribs tonight. Moose ribs for About dinner. Ten sets of ribs. We're gonna eat. Today. Ten sets of ribs. Yeah, a lot of ribs. We're gonna chow down on ribs tonight. Open fire in front of the teepee. Ah, feels good getting that whole bull out. Didn't take us, but that's about four hours. Yeah, not even that. Got started around right. two. Dinner. Ribs. ribs whatever rub you got on those ribs that'd be awesome i am ready for 
meat meat and more fluids bone broth and I need some hot chocolate for sure <laughs> you're the hot chocolate provider Chris. See that? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to dip into your supply but he doesn't hate that at all <laughs> Brian forgot a lot of things often. on this trip what, what are we up to? What's the count? Bipod? So I, I didn't know that I'd want hot chocolate till I got here, and that's an inconvenient problem. Let's go through the list, though, real fast, just so Let's. people know. So there's, <laughs> he didn't bring his hot chocolate. He didn't bring his bipod, right? He didn't bring the other ore for the pack raft. So <laughs> Look, that was, ore. that's because I don't own one, and I wasn't going to spend 400 <laughs> bucks for one. And then he didn't bring something else. It was I should have called you and had you bring an oar. Something else. I didn't, that I didn't think we'd be using two boats at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, two boats with one oar. I mean, I guess everybody saw you riding that. Hey, look. The fact <laughs> riding that. Riding that yeah. boat down the river. That's right. <laughs> so who, who, needs an, an oar. who needs an oar? We, Brian, <laughs> Ryan didn't even bring his. Didn't have to deal with it on the airline. Because his nice. looks like an old building because it's got 50 patches <laughs> i talked about we weren't super like, confident in mine ryan trip. bring yours and you're like uh, i don't know if it'll See, make we got it. mine that's got like 80 pieces of tyvek tape covering the bottom or your brand new caribou for a trip like this we went with the new one unfortunately the big raft had after pedro and brady got a hold of it at least three holes in it I think it was sabotage. Literally. Pedro. It was blown up once and Pedro. floated across with Pedro. And Pedro went real sabotage on this one. <laughs> he didn't just fake sabotage. Popped holes in my Put holes in it. brand new raft. Yeah. Someone's getting a hold of me. All right. Let's go get some ribs. Food time. Sure beats packing it. That water's dropping like seven or eight inches. This, this is the best way to haul moose meat. It's the only way to haul moose meat. Nice. Sure. out see if she holds show me with that uh, leak you just fixed all right oh the boat's first piece of Tyvek tape right there Woo easy quick fix stuff's magic but in a couple years this boat's gonna be loaded up with it
Yep, just slapped it on there, got it dry, slapped it on, put it in the TP a little bit, got some heat to it, tackied up that glue, good to go. We'll see. Yep. Hopefully it holds. Got the hot tent going, drying out some stuff. It's not raining at the moment, so that's nice. Um, but it looks like we have a day of rain, maybe. We'll see. It's pretty nasty out there. Two of these caribou are going to two different families, so you don't just come out here for yourself. You know, you gotta take care of other people. Absolutely. Look at that. Woo -wee. All right, well, we're loading up. We've got more rafts going today. We've got, uh, oh, Brian, Brian's going to be in the small pack raft with two caribou. Uh, I think two caribou worth of meat in there in the pontoons. And then we got the big boats loaded up. And, and we we've got the moose hide. <laughs> Lampers had the moose hide. Moose hide laid out. To you dry could see the night. the imprint on the ground here, where he had his eight by ten foot moose hide laid out. But it froze solid as a rock, so he just had to put it inside the teepee. It's like a sheet of. Plywood. Let's go take a look. It's like a sheet of plywood right now. It is like a sheet of plywood. We we managed to fold it in half. Remember how that happened to us in New Zealand with the tar? Yeah. yeah. Left it laying out, froze solid. It was a rookie move. Ryan knew better. So, the advantage of having a hot tent. Just fold it in half and you bring it in. Heat it up. Yep. Takes up the whole red cliff. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you just have to see it. In person, man, it just, that's a cool hut. I'm gonna have to, I'm so anxious to see what you do with it. Yeah. In the end. That's a thick, big hide. Yep. It's bigger than a sheet of plywood. Much bigger, but it'll be cool. Well, we're just about loaded. Chris has got this uh, pack raft roped into the back of his pontoons. And he's got uh, two moose quarters in there, trying to get his overall boat up off the ground, get a little more carrying capacity. But I've got the uh, my pack raft, the bigger one up there, loaded with two full caribou, like all the meat, hide, and a cape. Um, only thing I don't have in that raft is the caribou heads. They're on Ryan's raft right there. Um, so we've greatly expanded our carrying capacity with these two pack rafts. Um, hopefully this rig works the way Chris has it set up on the pontoons and it actually uh, rows pretty decent and doesn't cause too much trouble. But yesterday he was sunk so deep in the water, every little rock or sandbar got caught on it and uh, his frame was dragging in the water as well. Now the frame's up off the water. so should be okay should should float a lot faster today long day ahead of us oh yeah there's not a cloud in the sky it's gonna be warm sunny your favorite 20 miles of floating i'm an old man now bound for glory Yeah, 
side West of where the sun sets Where the rainbows never die All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the whole moose series that we just produced. This is the last video in the series. I almost didn't make this this film i actually didn't want to yeah. but uh brad and uh, um friends of mine called up and said hey if you got more moose footage we want to see it yeah. so yeah. here it is it's what it was i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got some some info out of it we're going to talk a little bit more about the pack out Th- those quarters i know i know it looks like towing them on a sled looks was easy but that's because i do a lot of crossfit <laughs> um but no it 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 uh we're going to talk a little bit about that process and then about the float and and what that was like yep. we'll give you a little more behind the scenes info before we do that we have two big giveaways that that we need to pick winners for mm-hmm. so we did the peaks giveaway that was a peaks teepee poles gators headlamps it had the uh psc bow, bow in it yep. initial ascent backpack canvas cutter crispy boots like whole there's... big deal we got to thank all of our partners for pitching in on the on the big prize package mm-hmm. Uh, thank you to all of those that support our show. And then all of you guys who went out and shopped at Peaks. Each of you that spent $10 were entered yep. to win. Uh, that was one entry every 10 bucks. And so we got that big list yesterday. Brad and I went through it. We randomly selected 10 finalists with a random number generator. Yep. These are the 10 names. We'll put them up here on the screen. You can look at those. And uh, Brad has a random, random number generator here on his phone. He's going to randomly pick one. Brad, yep. who so is it? We got it? this and we got... Number one. Okay, number one how is... Strange. How strange. We got Todd Durham. Congratulations, Todd. All right, Todd, you are the lucky winner. Congratulations. You just won a $6,000 hunt gear yep. package. Yep. So we also have the rifle. Brand new uh, Weatherby Mark Five Hunter. Yep. With uh, It's a 6.5 RPM uh, with a Leupold scope. Yep. That yeah. package uh, is going out to some lucky winner. Yep, so um, we have a total of 1,941 entries. Yeah, that that was the same situation. Every $10 you spent at the Gritty store, which has hats, shirts, sweatshirts like the one I got on, water bottles, even gift cards. Yep. There was uh, everybody who, who, who spent over there was entered to win. Every $10 got you an entry. And so uh, it's crazy. Uh, we sold out right away. Yes. And so thank you. And we we now have some more in stock, I guess, as of two days yeah, ago. Hats came new, in just recently. A small limited supply of hats. Came <laughs> it's pretty in. bad. It's pretty bad. The uh, we ran out of stock right away. Mm-hmm. So it's a little shop. It's growing. But yes. thank you for jumping in on that, everybody. We really appreciate it. So we have a winner. Someone won a rifle. So Brad, who we do got we got? The random number generator. We got all our info in there. One five five four. One five five four. Yep. 1,554. 1, so we've got Ryan Oswood. Let, let me double check your math. Yep. 155. You said 1554? Five, five, yep, correct. 
And this number is the last number of their orders. Ryan, congratulations. Mm-hmm. You are now the proud owner of a new Weatherby 6.5 RPM yep. with Leupold Scope. And again, all the winners, make sure that you uh, email us at grittybowman at grittybowman.com and we'll get in touch with you. Yep. So, And then uh, we also said we'd give away a Stealthy Hunter mm-hmm. um, gut health pack. Yep. Last week we said uh, if you shared our our film on Instagram, you were entered to win. Yep. And Brad has a winner there. I do. So our winner for that is... And the gut health pack from Stealthy has like all this these goodies, probiotics, uh, turmeric, things like that that yep. help for, for your Digest Plus that, that help with gut and yep. gut health. So we got Hunting Rob underscore 21. All right. So Hunting Rob is uh, the new new... Well, he won uh, a Stealthy Gut yep. Health Pack, and then we have a giveaway for leaving a comment on YouTube. Correct. And that was for a rifle cover? Correct. A Stealthy Hunter rifle cover. And we've had over, just like every film, we've got over a thousand comments. We've been trying to read it's, them all. I think yes. we're keeping up. I'm it's trying a big to, job. We're all trying to keep up. <laughs> it's a big job. I, I thank you very much, and the comments are greatly appreciated. Um, enjoy those. So, Brad, um, pick our winner. Bam. Alex Coleman. Great videos. I don't comment much, but much, but I will definitely be following after watching the last two videos. Boom. So, awesome. All right. You, you just you just won a uh, Stealthy Hunter rifle cover, Alex. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And if you want to uh, be entered to win next week, leave us a comment. Your comments help our channel grow. Absolutely. They create some community. We love to hear from you. We try to respond to all of them. We will read your comment. You know, it's interesting because episode three, which is the last episode prior to this, Mm -hmm. um, when Ryan shot his moose, YouTube hammered that with restrictions because they said it it wasn't suitable for advertisers. What exactly was in it that was offensive or that made it so it's not suitable? We never know. It only happens to one in 10 videos or so. But when it happens, we can see the difference right away. It just doesn't get the, the, it gets half the views or less. Right. It's like YouTube bans it, blocks it, doesn't amplify it. Yep. Um, it but we still get a lot of views, which just goes to show that a, most of our viewership is organic. Mm-hmm. You guys come find our stuff and you watch it. And, and so we don't rely on YouTube, but it definitely helps when you share it with your friends, your buddy, your family, your dad, your, you know, absolutely. it definitely helps uh, get the word out because we, we really can't rely on YouTube to amplify our channel mm-hmm. at all. Um, so thank you always for leaving those comments and thank you for sharing. So this week we are giving away a pair of Sheep Feet Orthotics. Mm-hmm. If you leave a comment on YouTube, Sheep Feet will send you a kit. You get an imprint in your foot. They'll build a custom orthotic, send it to you. It's like a two to three hundred dollar. Yeah expensive item yep. but if you leave a comment we'll re- we might randomly pick you next week so do that and then the other thing is we're going to give away a pair of trekking poles yep. peaks trekking poles if you'll share it on instagram again we'll just pick a lucky winner from uh from the our instagram feed yep. just tag myself brian underscore call stealthy hunter and brad underscore w hunt mm-hmm. and and you'll be entered to win and we'll just randomly pick somebody next yep. week All right, so folks, do you want uh, a Peaks Mm Teepee or an Initial Ascent Backpack or... Or a $500 Mountain Ops gift card. Gift card. Or 20% off at Mountain Ops. Yes, and you didn't win the last prize. Well, we have a new one for the next couple of weeks. It's like three weeks long. Um, We are doing a giveaway with Mountain Ops. Yep. But not only are you entered to win a big prize package like usual, we love doing these things, Mm -hmm. but you also get 20% off right now if you use the code GRITTY. Correct. So if you want to go to Mountain Ops, um, if you want to get blazed, do you want to get blazed, Brad? Well, I'll, I'll take a shot. I mean, I don't know what everyone else is thinking, but I'll take a shot. Here's here's a blaze <laughs> shot. So if you want to be entered to win uh, this big prize package. Yeah, so we got 20% off at Mountain Ops, like we said. The Peaks Teepee that is not even out yet. A pair of loophole binoculars. You got an all-in digiscoping setup. Yeah. A goat knife, Peaks poles, an initial ascent backpack, and greedy gear. We're going to throw some greedy gear in. 
It's really cool. We love doing these giveaways. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to do them as much as we can. We contact all our partners and we say, hey, do you guys want to do this or not? And then uh, one or two of them will say, oh. yeah, we'll sponsor it. Yep. And we can't thank them enough because they <laughs> jump right on board. So They do. Awesome. And so it's been great. So always remember those guys uh, when you're out and you're thinking about gear you're going to need. Think about our partners because they've been great. Yep. Um, but, yeah, you can win that package. Just head over to Mountain Ops. Check out what they have. Mm -hmm. And not only uh, are you entered to win, but you get 20% off right now, which is a bigger discount than usual yep. with my code and for every dollar that you spend is one entry yeah oh okay yep so uh i like their ignite i like the yeti i like the blaze shots all the pick-me-up stuff with the caffeine yes. i like all that but oh. also the, but also some of the clothing like the merino top i mean we have put that thing through the paces you know yeah the, the battleground hoodie yep. uh there's some workout clothes over there mm -hmm. there's a little bit of everything yep uh to check out and there's always new stuff being added, new flavors too of yeah. different drinks. So check that out. I like the travel packs for the back country. Mm -hmm. But you get twenty percent off right now at Mountain Ops and you're entered to win that prize. We're gonna announce the winner on January eighth. So it will run through January eighth at eleven fifty nine PM. Okay, so you got a little time, but get in quick, use the code gritty, and then our other giveaway is with Go Hunt. Correct. So right now we have the Go Hunt gear shop. If you guys are out shopping, if you're returning some gifts. And you have a little extra cash? Yep. Check out the Go Hunt Gear Shop because um, right now you get a discount when you use the code mm -hmm. Gritty over there. Yep. You save ten percent in the shop. In the shop, mm -hmm. and then Go Hunt came up with the package yes. for everybody. So we got a big canvas cutter, full bedroll system, like almost six hundred dollar value there. Okay. But then you also have a lifetime membership to the Go Hunt Insider. You're going to get a five hundred dollar Go Hunt Gear Shop uh, gift card. You have a whole bunch of Go Hunt swag we're yeah. going to give away a tree line academy course um uh, also a tub of peak refuel mills which are you know about 10 days worth of food there um and then we'll have some stealthy gear some gritty gear that we'll throw on top of that yeah so get on over there if you need some gear check out go hunt gear shop it's better to support a hunting company uh, mm -hmm. I think for your backpacking needs and your backcountry needs, definitely don't go to REI or to half of these nope. companies that don't really support hunting or or stand behind what we do, check out uh, the Go Hunt Gear Shop. Support those guys, and it helps us as well. So that's it for our giveaways. Uh, thank you for participating. Let's get into this hunt, Brad. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Brad, um, you saw the movie. Yes. What did you think? It was good. You guys needed more boats. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's it's pretty incredible to see, you know, Ryan's got that big, the big raft that yeah. is just piled with meat. And then Chris has his... His pontoons piled with meat, an extra boat inside there. Well, and... we ended up with eight caribou and two moose mm -hmm. in total. And uh, Chris harvested four caribou. A lot of that is to support family and friends yeah. and stuff as yep. well. It's a, it's a, it's pretty, it's a pretty wild trip to go on. And, um, you know, to go out there and you're in the place and to be able to, cause residents can, mm -hmm. can hunt for sustenance, uh, up there in Alaska and they enable that quite a bit for yeah. people up there. And, uh, but anyway, the, it just ended up being so much meat. Mm -hmm. Moose are huge. And then you add all the bone and the antlers right. and the space they take up. I ran out of room, man. <laughs> like there was no room for me to fit on a boat. No. Uh, Chris's boat was sinking. And we were worried, you know, as we were stacking up and things were getting heavier, but we had those two alpaca rafts mm -hmm. as kind of spares. What we ended up doing was taking that caribou raft mm -hmm. and in between the pontoons right. on Chris's raft. Strapping it in there. We, str we strapped it in there. And it actually worked like a charm. Yeah. Well, it allowed, it looked like it allowed, and just from talking to you guys, it looked like it allowed... A lot of that weight to go, you know, a couple hundred pounds to go in the alpaca raft. Yeah, I, I want to say it was probably closer to 400 pounds mm -hmm. in the alpaca, in that in caribou. That caribou. That, that's a lot of weight to take off the main pontoons, which then allowed Chris's boat to be a lot more buoyant. Right. Which the water got braided and shallow in some spots. And, uh, you know, the last thing you want to do is, is bottom out and then have to, like, getting knee deep, like walk, like yeah. cart all the meat off tow it down river and then load it back up again right. um but that did happen and that is part of the experience we didn't film it we're we're busy like just 
floating, man. It yeah. was the footage I got, by the way, was tough to film. I ended up filling what was that boat I was using? Which model do you know? It's like it's rated for seven or eight hundred pounds, oh, I, I don't think. Know. I didn't look. I can't remember, but yeah. care but Alpaca has different rafts. That one is ten pounds. Mm-hmm. It's kind of um it's much bigger it's than not the, the mule. Voyager, is it? It's bigger than than the mule. I think it's the hunter or something like that. Yeah. But uh it's like the Voyager. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that raft I loaded up with the my entire with two full caribou, like yeah. all their meat. And that went inside the pontoons. Mm-hmm. And then I had some gear on deck between my legs. <laughs> and then I was kayak paddling down the river yep. for a couple of days. And that took basically essentially two caribou off of Ryan's boat mm-hmm. minus the heads. And that took, you know, the, the caribou raft in the back of Chris's took right. four or 500 off of his boat, which that allowed us to, that, that we needed it. We needed yeah. the, the space. Yeah. It would have been better for us to bring different boats. Like we learned a lot on this trip and we, if we did it, we, we would do it a little bit different next time. I was, was going to ask you too, like what's, what's other than even the boats, but what's one thing you would change on that hunt? Even gear wise, whatever. Well, one of the things we would change is we definitely go with a smaller raft that all three of us had, mm. like a round boat, kind of like what Ryan had, but but instead of it being rated for three thousand pounds, maybe get one rated for two thousand pounds, right? Or you know, just a little bit smaller, but all three of us have one. Um, I didn't like Chris's. The pontoons are handy and they're nice, but it has a big old frame. Yeah, so it takes up a lot of space. Takes up a lot of space and. Um, whereas there's some boats like big sky inflatables, um, they make, uh, they make a nice little sort of Kodiak or something like that. That's probably right about the right size for what you need for something mm-hmm. like this. Um, they do, uh, what boat, what do they call that? Uh, water master, their water master rafts. Right. Um, I think if you go to big sky inflatable.com, you'll see, I like their boats, but there's a couple other boats that Ryan looked into as well that would definitely make that float better, more ideal. Um, gosh, I mean, I think that was our would be one of our major changes. Is what about gear wise? The rafting. Did you do anything different, like on boots or taking like more of? I mean, to walk out in the tundra, like some wiggy waders or some. Hip, hippie waders no, or whatever? No, I wouldn't. We wouldn't change that much, but w- I would bring wild rocks. Mm. Ryan brought his. Yep, the insulated, the crispies. insulated crispy wild rock that are taller. Mm-hmm. His feet. When we were doing the moose, he he had de- he had tall boots and wearing the wild rock. Right. And when we were in the swamp, a tall boot with a gator, it's like wearing a rubber boot up to yeah. your knee almost. Yep. It's 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 all you need. I was wearing a Laponia. And when you get in water deeper than your ankle and you just stand in it, right? All I was getting wet feet a little bit that night we were doing his moose. I would have brought the wild rock boots. Um, the crispy wild rock boot is one of my favorites. And Ryan brought both. He brought the Laponia and the wild rock. Yeah. And, uh, and he, I guess probably the altitudes in the, in the wild rock. The what now? The altitudes. I think he was testing out the altitude. Oh, he, the crispy yeah, altitudes. yeah, you're right. It might have been instead of the Laponia. Instead of the Laponia, yep. It's hard for him to leave the Laponia at home, <laughs> just like me. Yep. But the Wild Rock it would have been another, would have been something I should have brought that Ryan did bring. Mm-hmm. So I would have brought two oars if I could go back. <laughs> <laughs> well, little did you know, we found out later. <laughs> yeah, folks. That Ryan had the other paddle in his garage. Ryan right? had my extra oar <laughs> in his garage that, uh, Somehow, when we on, went on that hunt with Pedro and Brady, where they popped a hole in my raft, mm-hmm. uh, they also my pole, my 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 uh, paddle paddle ended up at Ryan's house in his garage at the end of that trip. So, some some things went. So I I looked for my pole paddle, I couldn't find it, and I wasn't going to buy another one. And uh, and I and we, we were talking about the rafts. We were like, we'll bring the little one, and we'll bring the big one, right? Um, because if we need that big one. We'll pack it in, but most likely we'll only use the little one. Well, we didn't realize 
how much we'd be using them both at the same yeah, time. Right. Like, I don't know why it didn't cross our mind. And when we <laughs> talked to Chris before we left, we said, should we bring pack rafts? And he's like, nah, nah probably not. I didn't use them yeah. last year. Well, they ended up being a key part of the trip. Absolutely. The pack rafts are, are huge. I, at this point, we use pack rafts so often, I can't imagine back going back to not having them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's a weird idea to not have one handy in the back of my truck kind of all the time yeah. for all sorts of whatever. Um, they're un- unbelievably e- effective. Mm-hmm. And in a trip like that where there's just water everywhere, even lakes... We were hunting a lake. You, you guys didn't see it because we didn't show the film. But we hunted this massive string of lakes. And we knew, like, if we did kill a, a, a moose a couple miles over, mm-hmm. we just float that lake, portage it another 200 yards, float the next lake yeah. and the next lake. And it would be mostly floating the whole way. Yeah, which is, for a moose, I mean, I mean, it's so much easier than, than just packing that out. You know? So... We recommend, we really love the caribou. Yeah, the alpaca raft, raft the caribou. The alpaca raft caribou model. Yep. Um, the downside is it is a thinner material mm-hmm. and it is more fragile, so it yeah. gets more holes. The mule is a little a little bit heavier. It's a little more tough. Little, It's thicker material. It doesn't near, get nearly as holes as easily. Yeah. And, uh, it's a little, but it's seven pounds instead of five. Right. And even and, that though, like you still got to be careful with those rafts. I mean, they're meant to be sure. backpacking rafts. You know? Sure. But we, we beat the but crap out of them. We have beat the crap I mean, out of them. Look at what we beat the hell out of yeah. them. They, they, we patch them up and keep rocking. Yep. Um, but I would say the caribou is our favorite model on a trip like this where we're not backpacking super right. far. The, I think we would go for the biggest alpaca. We'd bring one alpaca raft. That's the biggest they got. Yep. It's, I think it's 14 pounds or something. Something like that, yeah. And then we would bring the caribou, which is like the smallest working raft that they have. Yeah. For those little channels and those little places or just to augment, you know, it's just to be quick. Yeah. Um, I think I think we'd, we'd do that, but we wouldn't attempt this trip in a, in a, in the, in an Apaca raft only. Mm, no. There's a lot of bone, a lot of meat. But all in all, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. The pack out, I hope. Let me know in the comments below if you did find it yep. interesting, if you have more questions about it. I'll tell you this. When when it comes to packing the meat, we ferried that thing, Chris reminded us, 540 <laughs> <40 yards>. yards. <laughs> uh, Chris was like, hey, if you shoot it beyond 500, I'm not sure I'm going to help you pack it out. So um, 500 yards from the river was definitely a goal. Right. And this one was right on the button there. And uh, when you throw the quarters in the sleds, that was a tough pull. Yeah. this the, It was a look. It's way harder. I'm watching the video going, oh, that didn't look too bad. It's way harder than it looks. Yeah. Way harder than it looks. And uh, the loads are so heavy. Right. When, when Ryan put those horns on his pack, and he also has the whole neck, neck of the meat. moose inside his pack that which was is, the last load which is every bit of probably two elk quarters almost Dude, it mean, was those neck that I neck mean, on that bull is giant it was a lot of weight um but i mean that whole hunt the pack out was it took us what four hours i think is what we came up with on, um, on to, chris's bull or whatever to break it down to it took it about down. four to four and a half hours to break down the bulls mm-hmm. for us and get them bagged up and but it took another. It took about four hours to to ferry the meat. It was the giant hide, the head, and the meat from the kill site to the river. Right. It's about four hours, I think, between three guys. Yeah, at five hundred yards. Yep. Whew. To move five hundred yards. <laughs> so, and there's they're just. So, I mean, I don't know. They're so giant. Like oh you, it's it's hard to believe. And when you see um, the moose on Ryan's backpack, yeah, you like Chris who said Ryan said it the other day. When you get that head away from the body, you realize how big the animals are. Absolutely, and you don't. But they look kind of small when they're in relation to the body. Yeah, you don't when that, realize when that moose is standing in the film and he's looking at you. They're hard to judge. He looks big, but at the same time. It has to be super hard to judge because the bull's body is four feet wide. You know, <laughs> once you throw Man. throw that that set of antlers 
on his pack, and you really see it in perspective to a human body. Right. The back of the head goes from Ryan, the base of Ryan's neck to like the top of his bum. Yeah. Like you, you can see yeah. the length of it is the skull is, is his see, whole back. You see Ryan this wide, and then there's just all and, this antler yeah, that's sticking out past there. You really get a perspective for mm-hmm. how big it is. There's no wide angle lens here. It's just that is just it's just big. Right. So anyway, it's an it's an amazing it was an amazing experience. We 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 really want to go back. It's not that easy. This is a tough hunt to logistically to work out mm-hmm. and try to make happen. We're going to talk a little bit more about it, do more research on moose as a uh, I'm going to try to be in these talks as much as I can. <laughs> yeah. It's a, I'd love to go chase moose. It's an awesome time. Um hope you guys enjoyed the series. Tune in next week. Mm-hmm. Next week's going to be uh backcountry snowy uh, awesome film. Yep. For it. What is it? Elk. Yeah. We, we haven't decided elk or mule deer, one of the two, but it's going to be a great hunt. Tune in next Sunday. Check it out. Leave us a comment to win. Be entered to win for next week. Share it on our, our film on Instagram. We appreciate you. We thank you. And as always, stay gritty.